In this video, you will learn how to create the transition between walk and gallop animation of this reindeer. First, we split the lower window. In the upper window, we switch to the dope sheet, and in the lower window, we switch to the nonlinear animation editor. In the dope sheet, we choose the action editor. In the prior video, how to create a quadruped walk cycle animation for a 3D puppy, we saw how to use the action and animation editor for a single action. We repeated the action and adjusted the speed. And in this video, we will combine two actions. When we click on the drop-down menu, we see two actions, a walk action and a gallop action. The walk animation looked like this. With the help of a button pushdown, we bring the action into the nonlinear animation editor. First, we make some space for the next animation. Then, we select the gallop animation, and it looks like this, and we push it down as well. First, we need a second track. I go to Add menu and click on Add track. I drag the gallop action to the top and the right and I bring the walk animation to the left. With the walk animation selected, I go to Action Clip and set the playback speed to 0.25 and repeat to 3. This means the walk action runs 4 times as fast as normal. For testing, let's switch the upper window to Timeline and hit Play. Nothing happens in the first frames, but the gallop animation starts at some frame. This is because the gallop action is located in the upper track and overrides everything else. You will find the responsible setting under Active Strip, the extrapolation method is Hold and Blending is Replace. This action replaces every other action in the lower tracks and the extrapolation hold overrides the pose of the first action frame before the action and the pose of the last action frame after the action. First, we set the extrapolation to nothing and we see our walk animation. Now we want a smooth transition between walk and gallop. I bring the gallop action to frame 66. I set the playback speed to 0.2 and repeat to 4. When we play the animation, we see the transition is not smooth at all. But we can fix this with the blend in and out settings. I used 8 frames for both values. When we now play the animation, this looks very good. At last, we copy the walk animation to the end. Now the reindeer walks, runs, and walks again. That was a short introduction to the nonlinear animation editor and how to transition between two actions. I see you in the next video.